everyone, today we have another book to read and it's called The Best of Times. It's by a mathematical author, Greg Tang, and you may have read some other books by him. It's also illustrated by Harry Briggs. Let's see this book. Helps us remember our multiplication facts. But the first page is sticky. Absolute zero. Zero is a cinch to do. The answer's right in front of you. For every problem, it's the same. Zilch or zero is its name. So what does that mean? Anything times zero is its zero. So zero times zero, zero. Zero times five, zero. Zero times 32, zero. Zero times 273, zero. Zero times 459, zero. Anytime, it's always zero, always. Because why? Well, it's zero groups of something. If I have zero groups, that means I have no groups, which means I have nothing. So it's zero. One way. One is simple as can be. It's known as the identity. The answer to identify, it's the one you multiply. So whatever we multiply by one is itself. It's identity. So one times 70, 70. One times 25, 25. 1 times 15, 15. 1 times 85, 85. And here's some challenge problems for you to try. Pause the video if you want. The two step. Two is very fast and fun. Quickly double and you're done. What's that you say? Be more precise? Okay then, just add it twice. So what is two times two? It's two double. That means I do two plus two is four. I had double twos, a two and a two. It's a doubles fact. So what is two times eight? It's eight doubled. So two times eight is equal to eight plus eight, which is 16, okay? And here's some challenges for you to try. Pause the video, work them out in your notebook. Threes, I wonder what the Threes are. Threes sum. Three is easy as can be. If you triple what you see. In other words, just add it thrice. This is simply, this simply is one more than twice. So instead of doing it two times, you do it three times. So what is three times three? It's three doubled plus three. So you double first, then add another one, right? So Three times three. I do three plus three is six, and six plus three is nine. So three plus three plus three. And what's three times nine? Well, it's nine doubled plus nine. So I add two nines, and then I add another nine. So then 18 plus nine equals 27. Your challenge. Give it a try. Hmm, four eyes. Four is very fast to do when you multiply by two. Here's a little good advice. Just please, just always double twice. So what does that mean, double twice? Well, what's four times four? It's four doubled twice. Double ones, four plus four is eight, and then double twice. I take those eights and I add them together. So I doubled the four, then I double the eight. So what's four times seven? It's seven doubled twice. Double once, seven plus seven is 14, and then double twice. 14 plus 14 is 28. Try it with the challenge. Ooh, what about fives? Sometimes I just like to count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, however many times, but there's other ways too. Five alive. Five will yield the right amount if by fives you always count or else just multiply by 10. Half will get you there again. So what's five times five? Well, it's 10 fives divided in half. So five times 10, 50. And then 50 divided by two equals 25. So five times five is 25. Well, what about this case? Five times eight. It's 10 eights divided in half. So 10 times eight, 80. 80 divided by two or 80 and half is 40. So try it with these ones. Pause the video, work it out. 
six cents. Six is pretty quick to do. Just multiply by three, then two. If this sounds like too much trouble, triple first before you double. Hmm, that sounds tricky. What does that really mean? So, what is six times six then? It's six tripled, then doubled. So you triple first. That means, hmm, what is right here? What's six times three, which is six plus six plus six, that's 18. And then you have to double that answer. So double 18, 18 plus 18 equals 36. So our answer to six times six is 36. So what's six times four? Well, four tripled, then double. Triple first, four plus four plus four, 12, double 12, 24. And there's your challenges. Seven heaven. Seven doesn't take much time, even though it is a prime. Here is all you have to do, first times five, then add times two. And we got some busy squirrels there. So what is seven times seven? It's five sevens plus two sevens. So seven times five is 35, and two times seven, well that's seven doubled, or seven plus seven, which is 14. And then we get to here where we add them together. So 35 plus 14 is 49. Really, we're just doing partial products. We're breaking up the sevens into easier numbers for us to work with. Instead of doing seven times seven, we're doing seven times plot five plus seven times two. So what's seven times five? Well, it's five fives plus two fives. So seven times five equals five times five plus two times five. So 25 plus 10 or 35. And then there's your challenge. Can you figure those ones out? Give it a try. I know you're up to these challenges. Crazy eight. Eight is very much like four. Simply double, but once more. Since two times two times two is eight, doubling three times works just great. So we double, double, double. So for the twos, we doubled. For the fours, we double, double. For the eights, we double, double, double. Fun. So what is eight times eight? Well, it's eight doubled three times. So we start by doubling once, eight plus eight, 16. Then I double the 16, which is 32. And then I double the 32, which gives us 64. And what is eight times six? Well, it's six doubled three times. So double once, six plus six is 12. Double twice, 12 plus 12 is 24. And then you double the third time, taking your result from before, 24 plus 24 equals 48. And there's your challenges. Give them a try. Nine ball. Nine is faster to compute if at first you overshoot. Here's a very clever tack. Do 10 times and then subtract. So that means you multiply by 10 and then take one of those numbers away. So for example, what's nine times nine? Well, it's 10 nines minus a nine. So. 10 times 9 gives us 90 and then we take away a 9 and we're left with 81. So what's 9 times 7? Well it's 10 sevens which is 70 minus a 7. So we're taking away that one group because we gave it an extra group we're pretending it's a 10 and then we take away one of those groups. So 9 times 7? 70 minus a 7? 63. Try them with these other ones. Perfect 10. 10 is such a breeze to do, all because of place value. To quickly multiply by 10, put an item at the end, of zero at the end, sorry. So it seems like it's just a trick, but it's really that we're increasing its place value by a whole digit. So what's 10 times 10? Well, it's 10 with a zero at the end. So we had our 10 with one more zero, because we've bumped it into the next place value, okay? What's 10 times nine? Well, it's nine with a zero at the end because I had 10 nines or I had nine tens. So if I count up by 10, nine times, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, right? So I had nine tens. Well, how do I represent that? Well, I have to have a nine in the tens place. 
right? And that would put a zero in the ones place. There's your challenges. And that is the end. It shows you just in the end some of the other pages, but it's just going over the different times table facts. So that's it, the best of times. I hope it helped you practice your facts and maybe you can rewatch different ones of them that you wanna practice more. See you guys.